Good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. This is going to be the four minute workout we're taking you through today. We're excited to show you this new concept of exercise that's come out of the science around nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is this little magical communication molecule made by the human body, stored in the blood vessels that feed your muscles. When you start to exercise and you run out of oxygen, you release that nitric oxide. It goes downstream, opens up blood vessels, increases oxygen and nutrient delivery to that muscle to increase the opportunity for muscle build. The cool thing is you rebuild that nitric oxide every couple hours. And so we have the opportunity to release this three times a day and get that additive benefit of again and again hitting the muscle body with it's time to grow, time to feed, time to breathe. And so we're going to take you through this today. The goal is three set, sets when you're doing this four minute workout. Start with 10 repetitions, work yourself towards 20. No hand weights necessary to get this activation going. If you want to build that over time, you're welcome to. But right now we're going to focus on form and speed to run out of the oxygen at the joints at those big muscle groups. We're going to work with the 16 biggest muscle groups and you're going to go after it. So enjoy this, integrate it into your day, and go after a new level of exercise and fitness for you. Thanks for joining us. So here we go. We're going to take this through and we're going to go through three sets of this. But I want to take you through slowly the first uh, set here and the actions that you're going to be doing. Your form is important. Uh, more important that you do the form right and get your pace built up over time, certainly than using weights or anything else like that. So let's focus on the form. A good squat is your butt going back like it's going to go sit in a chair. It's not just a simple knee bend. You're really going back, which means your arms have to come out to balance you as your weight shifts backwards. So a good squat coming back like this. And then you're going to come up. If it's uncomfortable in your knees or your back, you just go more shallow. And that shallow motion is going to be fine for you. You're going to get the same activation of the quadriceps. The goal is to keep that muscle engaged. And so the speed is really more important than the depth of your squat. Okay? And then we're going to go to the arms. And the arms are just a simple 90 degree arm swing to start. And that 90 degrees is going to take you through a number of muscles up in the deltoids, in the back, in the shoulder. And so that 90 degree swing, it's more important that you again kind of do that tight form rather than just kind of flapping your arms like this. It's not going to give you the same muscle control. So 90 degrees, stop it at the end points. Then you're going to come up and do the big circle. You're going to click at the front, click at the top. Don't get lazy and just do this. You really want that full motion where you're getting the whole rotation of the shoulder in there. So click at the front, click at the top. Get through that motion. The third exercise in the upper extremities is simple. It's just straight up over the head. I want to show you a quick modification of the second one in case you have shoulder problems. If it is too painful for you to do this motion here, whether you have a rotator cuff tear, or a little bit of a frozen shoulder, you're going to really focus in on this motion here instead with uh, the opposite direction. So if your shoulders are hurting, come to the center, reach up the center and over the top, and then break the arms apart. And so it's almost like you're doing the breaststroke through the water or something like that. And it's amazing, even if you have frozen shoulder, how that can break things loose and open it up. If you don't have any shoulder problems, you're going to get more muscle activation in this direction. So that'll be that second set. And then again, you're going to finish with that military press straight over the head. All right. And so let's go ahead and go through a quick set. We're going to start with the squats. Check your position of your feet. They should be parallel, toes pointing forward, heels behind those. Your feet should be about shoulder width apart. And so let's go ahead and knock out that set. We're going to keep the quads engaged. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to go to the arms, 90 degrees. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then you're going to go big circle. Click at the top, click at the bottom. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Straight over the head. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You're doing great. We're going to go back to the squat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Back to the arms. 90 degrees. Stop them at the end points. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you're going to do the big circle here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Great job, feeling a little burn up over the head. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Last set, push it here. Squats, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Arms, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Big circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Click at the top, click at the bottom. 10. Good. Straight over the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Great job, you did it. Now I want you to relax, shake it out, and feel your fingertips. You'll feel a little tingling and a little puffy over the next 20 seconds there. That's the nitric oxide effect. You're dilating all those blood vessels, oxygenating everything from your brain to the kidneys to everything else in your body, and you're building muscle for the next couple hours. Repeat that three times a day, total change in your metabolism, muscle capacity for strengthening and maintaining that lean muscle, changes the number of calories you burn sitting still. It's an exciting shift in our concept of exercise. Get after it, integrate it into your lifestyle, and enjoy the results. Take care.